morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, welcome and we are delighted that you've joined us. It is such an honour, privilege and pleasure to be here, be here with um, the famous Benny Wallington. It is so rare for those of you who follow along with Positive Prime that we would have three Aussie accents in one podcast because it's usually someone from the UK or Europe or in fact North America, a Canadian or American. It's not quite as often we have an Aussie or a Kiwi. <laughs> so we are going to have the most beautiful conversation with Christine Tiley, who's in Newcastle. And for those of you around the world, um, Newcastle is to Sydney what San Diego is to Los Angeles, um, or what uh, Liverpool is to London. I don't know how else to describe it, um, or what Marseille is to, no, that's not fair. Anyway, um, without further ado, Benny, come on out and say hi to everybody and um, set this up because Christine's story is one you're absolutely going to want to stop everything that you're doing and listen to the finer details, the messages that are in between the lines of this story. Thank you, Kim, and a warm welcome to Christine. Uh, one of the beautiful things about working in the Positive Prime team is I get to hear about people before I get to actually have a conversation with them. And like Kim just mentioned, Christine, has some amazing tales to tell. So I don't really want to get too much in the way, but I'll give you a quick introduction to Christine, uh, founder of Direct Sales Inspiration, which I just checked out and it's amazing. Uh, you've been in the direct sales industry for over 17 years and continually break records within the company that you work in and have helped people around the world achieve their dreams following in your footsteps. And so what I've noticed is this beautiful... Uh, blueprint that you've created that you're now sharing with people who are uh, in similar situations to where you've been and also with those aspirations to do things like um, stepping into million dollar clubs and traveling around the world well when you can we're all in Australia at the moment so it's not as easy uh, right <laughs> exactly <laughs> we can go to New Zealand can't we maybe no um but uh, yeah, so I'd just love to, to welcome you here. Um, and you've also been through um, a few adversities which and come out the other side more, stronger for it. Uh, and that's, that's a beautiful part of your story as well. So I'd just like to give you a warm welcome and a warm welcome from all the, the listeners who are listening to this uh, to the Positive Prime podcast. And um, yeah, take it away. Feel free to let us in on your story. Wow, thank you, Benny. What a lovely introduction. I, um, gosh, I don't know where to start. I think maybe it's a, a good idea to share a little bit of my recent history so that um, the listeners can get a, a feeling for just how much impact Positive Prime has had on my, uh, my journey over recent times. Um, so first of all, my daughter was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia when she was six, and that was five years ago now. Now, at the time, she was given only um, two weeks to live, and she is now um, well and truly in remission. But you can imagine how challenging that journey was. Um, and three years ago, I had a series of strokes and pseudoaneurysms on the brain and uh, which took a lot of difficulty to diagnose what was going on. But um, at the time, I wasn't able to walk properly due to a depth perception issue. I wasn't able to communicate very easily, um, given that I had um, what is a medical, an actual medical condition called gobbledygook. I thought that I was communicating, but what was coming out was just a random mess of sounds and words. And that was incredibly scary to feel locked inside. And um, there was just so many ramifications. My eye um, drooped 
Um, I lost feeling on both sides of my body at different times, very, very scary time. And I was told that I would never be able to play contact sport again. I would struggle to communicate in my business, which is built on talking to people. And I um, would never be able to run. If I swim, I should stick to breaststroke. I felt completely restricted and they weren't even really sure what had caused all the issues. So I thought, oh, you know what? I reject all that. I'm gonna show them what's possible. And that day I decided I was going to get my black belt in karate, which is pretty much the opposite of where I was at the time. Not being able to walk even like down the hall of the hospital was really hard work. So it was a a big stretch and three years down the track. Now I don't quite have my black belt yet, although I do have another big grading coming up in two weeks and I'll be much closer then. I am brown now and we have to get a series of strikes within brown. But what I am is the current Australian national um, champion for 40 plus division. Now, let's enter now with positive prime and the the difference that that has made on my health journey of recent times. And I think just having that extra confidence, that extra inspiration, I've brought so much more into my life and that health and fitness journey since focusing on the fabulously fit sessions, the confidence sessions um, with Positive Prime. And I decided, "Mm, okay, I'm topping the 40 plus, but I wonder how I'd go in the open division. And I uh, decided I'm going to give it a try. And I came second, missing out on first by only 0.02 against people who, or everybody else in the division was 25 to 26 years younger than me. And I'm pretty sure they had had been able to walk their whole lives. (laughs) So it was quite a a change. But I used the um, sessions to prime me before I compete as well just a boost of confidence and or sometimes I just do an energy session just to really energize before I compete so that's one of the ways that I've found it really positively impacting my life all three of my children including my daughter who's beat leukemia are now also um, champions in karate and my, my son holds three national titles currently and he snuggles up in bed with me every morning. He comes in running upstairs and said, Mommy, let's do the, he, call, he calls it the karate movie because we've uploaded so many of our own karate photos into it. <laughs> he jumps into bed with me and he loves looking for himself in the session. And um, when we're driving to, usually we have to drive to Sydney c- to compete. He watches it. Oh, at least for half an hour on the way. That's got to be doing something amazing, <laughs> way more than he needs. But he just loves it. So I think that's making a really incredible in- impact on him. But my little girl who couldn't walk for two years, she was on so much chemotherapy. We nearly lost her a couple of times. She's had a really, really massive fight. And she still has regular physio to, to get back into shape, but she she won. That is just mind blowing. The shift that we've seen in in confidence and enthusiasm since starting Positive Prime is just mind blowing, and I'm so grateful for that. And that's just one aspect that we use Positive Prime for. Oh my goodness, I hope you've got a long time because I could just keep talking and talking and talking. (laughs) Okay, so Kristen, yes, um, for the mere mortals amongst us like me who, I mean, I've never even dreamt of becoming a national competitor, let alone a winner on the sports field I mean arguably yeah sure I'm a national winner when it comes to being a female in a regional area with a startup software company that's exceeding all expectations and so I I mean of course I understand the peak performance mindset um what what it's like to be elite and so forth Um, I just need to ask a much more personal question 
Did you ever do any karate before you made the decision after you'd been treated for your strokes and your aneurysms? I had done it for a few months when I was a teenager. Um, it was something my brother was really into. And but I was a ballerina at the time, so karate wasn't really my thing, but I did do some then. And it's surprising how much muscle memory did come back, but it had been 24 years, 25 years since I'd stepped foot in a dojo. <laughs> so it, uh, and I hadn't made it very far up the ranks um, in my first run around, but I guess I, I can say I did have a little bit of experience there. Well, but the important thing is, is it wasn't like you were an Olympian who had a really serious medical, you know, crises, and then you went back to something you already knew. We're talking about, you know, not even from low to go. We're talking from no to low to go, right? Benny, it's a whole different stratosphere, isn't it? Yep. I couldn't even walk around the block. I had to have people with me 24 hours a day for weeks in case another ambulance need, needed to be called. But we're talking pretty low starting base three years ago. But yeah. um, for, it's a, for the last several months, Positive Prime, I feel, has sped up my journey considerably. And I wish I'd had it from day one. Um, and I've used a lot of other positive techniques along the way, but I feel like Positive Prime is almost like that missing link between the goal and the mindset and a tool to actually make it happen and speed up that process. And it's not just in my health and fitness journey that I've, I've used it in that way. Um, within my business, it's been absolutely vital as well. And whilst I've always been um, a higher achiever in business, one of the biggest frustrations in my role is that I can see the potential in people who can't see it in themselves. And having now Positive Prime as a tool to recommend for people, especially in the direct sales industry, where so much of it is mindset and being willing to step outside of your comfort zone and try new things and being able to handle a rejection is a really big deal in my industry. And I feel like what's been missing in the industry is positive prime because it's giving um, those of us who are coaching others that an extra step in the process to help people. And I just can't believe the difference that I'm seeing in people that have started to use it in their journeys. We had a, a small group of people striving for a retreat locally, which was a really big deal. They do not hand out a retreat. It's a trip, a five-star, all expenses paid trip to Hayman Island. It's an amazing experience. And they don't hand it out. It's not easy to achieve. But the group of people that I was working with on that trip were using Positive Prime, every single one of them achieved it. And that is rare. <laughs> uh, and I can't help but think, hmm, if only I'd had this tool 20 years ago, <laughs> where would I be now? And it's exciting to think about how I can help people speed up their journeys. And I've got a couple of girls that are now having a play around with the confidence session to just boost their self-confidence. And now they're going live in my group and they're sharing their joy and sharing their knowledge with others. And I've seen it in them, but now they've got a way to get it out. They've got the confidence to, to get it out and just watching people grow and shine and take things to the next level. It's just spine tinglingly awesome to have that tool to help them do that. Christine, you're so effervescent. I love it. Um, Benny, haven't I kind of met my match? Uh, Chris, Christine, what's important for the listeners to actually understand, because I already know this, is let's put some things into perspective and context. And then I know that um, Benny's devising these questions that are a little more esoteric and, quite frankly, will dive us into juicier um, details. But Set the scene because you, you're not just a leader. You happen to have won like 
the most prestigious award in the industry. You happen to not have hundreds or thousands of people in your team. You have tens of thousands and you're not just operating in central New South Wales, you're operating globally. So can you just share with people a little about your story as a businesswoman? And then um, I, I just, I want to ask how on earth we can all be more like Christine. And um, I also want to ask lots of advice that is health related. Like what can we do to optimize our bodies? So zip it, Kim, take it away, Christine. <laughs> Well, that's given me a, a lot of questions to answer. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Um, all right, my business story. I'll, um, gosh, I could take a whole hour just telling you that. But if we go through some of the highlights, when I, I started, we're talking 19 years ago now, nearly. And um, in all honesty, I was pretty dreadful when I started. I certainly did not win any awards. I feel like I had to learn everything the hard way. But in the process of doing that, I feel like I can help anybody because I threw up before every party before I started and everything was difficult for me. But um, the anxiety really held me back for quite some time. But I did eventually achieve leadership and then set goals and went on and, and have built her a multi-million dollar international empire but um probably the thing i'm most proud of you alluded to the award that i won i was named the direct sales association of australia's distributor of the year award um, in 2019 and that is definitely the highlight of my career having been chosen from all consultants all distributors all companies australia-wide we're talking hundreds of thousands of potential candidates for that was a very incredible honor um and so whew, i guess that the journey has been wild and varied and exciting and it gives me so much joy now to help other people overcome whatever obstacles are in their way along their journey and um okay what else did you ask me Kim <laughs> well I mean the truth is is that you know that absolutely it's about overcoming yourself and your own limiting beliefs and now you've experienced breakthroughs in every one of those areas when you see somebody in your own team who might be going through some challenges, you're, you're in this empathetic and, and kind of um, really precious relationship where you can actually guide them through. What I, of course, am so incredibly humbled by is that you would choose Positive Prime to assist the people in your team that you want to see win. What you alluded to, though, just before was you had a group of people who have completely overcome whatever was holding them back before to achieve the winning of the promotional prize, which is like the incentive. So in that rewards and recognition program, they've actually exceeded their own expectations and gone further, farther, faster than they had have imagined before. Obviously, you're an extraordinary leader, but I... I mean, I just, I'm just, I can't tell you what it makes me feel like that you think that Positive Prime plays a role in that. Oh, 100%. Positive Prime, I feel like is the, it's the, the ticket that's been missing so that anybody that feels they have something holding them back in some area um, and it's so applicable in business, especially in direct sales, where, I, as I said, it's so much about mindset and um it it i feel like it almost means that you can achieve whatever you want no matter what is in your way and um no matter what leadership structure you happen to be under if you don't have somebody like me guiding your way then positive prime steps in and does it it's like you just choose the session that's right for you and you overcome your blocks 
and there's enough information out there then to help you okay once that blocks that overcome you've got that confidence okay right now I can go live now I can do all these things that we know we're going to build our business that I find so many people know what to do they can't make themselves do it or they procrastinate about doing it and over the years, so much of my training of my team has been involved in boosting confidence, helping them overcome procrastination, organizing their time, all of the skill set that Positive Prime helps to speed up the, um, the ability to, to do. And I feel like I can compact six months worth of hard work and training with my team into three minutes. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> unbelievable and sometimes all I have to do is tell them a little bit about the science behind it and they're in they're sold if I tell them it works and tell them a bit of the science they're prepared to give it a go and then when they see for themselves I just remind them remember it's only been six weeks since you couldn't do that at all it used to take me six months to get people to be able to do that it's just speeding everything up and compacting the process and it is just incredibly impactful for people who have goals. They want to achieve something, then this is a way to speed up getting there. Yeah, wow. That's amazing. Uh, I wonder, we talk about the Duchenne smile. Did I pronounce it right? French, Duchenne, <laughs> which is the infectious um, when we smile, you know, the mirror neurons fire off in our brains. And, and, I, and I feel like a potent part of your success has got to be your smile because I've kind of just been grinning the whole time <laughs> with that. Yeah. And, and, I think you, and I think like we said before we jumped on, you've got smile in the background as well. So I think that you've positively primed this conversation. Uh, <clears throat> I'd just like to touch on, we, we had a, a conversation with another Positive Prime member, Vary McGowan, and we were talking about how Positive Prime is implemented into schools and which is beautiful. So we're working with Barry about how do we create stuff that we can use as the blueprint for all the schools. And I'm just getting this beautiful vibe about the impact that you're having and how, how can we dive in a little bit on that setup that uses Positive Prime in the morning for your team. But what other Christine magic are you bringing to that? I guess we would call it a stack. Um, of inspiration uh, for your staff? Other things that I'm doing? Yeah, correct. Hmm, gosh. Um, well, firstly, let me say, I think Bari is amazing. And the more of this that we can get into schools, the better, because I've seen the impact that it's had on my children. And I know, I know I, I actually used to be a teacher and this 100% would have been the way I started every day with every class. Brilliant. Um, but for, um, for what I, I do as well, other bits and pieces, I guess it's just that I'm really big on recognition and shining a light where um, it's deserved and showcasing talent and acknowledging the fact that I wouldn't be where I am without the people that I get to work with. So gratitude is a big part of it as well, which I know is a big part of the foundation of what Positive Prime is built on. And I think is probably one of the first things that resonated with me about Positive Prime. And I, I guess just diving into finding the joy in every day by finding who I can make a difference to. I have a, a philosophy that I guide my business on always, every day, and that is that they may not remember what I say, but they'll remember how I make them feel. So I'm always looking for a way to make people feel valued, feel supported, feel nurtured, feel appreciated, and I'm always thinking about that feeling. And um, I think that's another thing that I love about Positive Prime is the feeling that it leaves you with. I feel so different sometimes when I sit down for a session and now I'm getting better at acknowledging, okay, I'm not feeling great now for whatever reason, maybe something's got me off track. I am now great at going, aha, 
I need to positive prime and I can get straight back on track. And I'm not wasting so much time and energy on things that don't need to be dwelt on. So I think that that's another way that positive prime helps every day with for me, but also as I'm now coaching people and talking to them and I'm wanting to, I'm putting together a, a session to broadcast wider to my team, the more positive prime that they can get, the more of all of those things that I value are going to be going out to their lives. And I can't think of a better blessing to give somebody than the gift of this awareness of positive prime and what it can do in their lives and how the, the philosophies that I operate with and have always led my business by can be incorporated into everything that they're doing as well. And if that is what's led me to success by leading with my heart and, and leading with the, the philosophies of, of giving and of nurturing and of supporting and making people feel great, then imagine the positive ripple effect that it can have, not just in their lives, but in their success and in their businesses by focusing on those things more than the nitty gritty of how do I do this? How do I do that? Honestly, I feel like when they are focusing on different things, the rest happens. It's in there. Their brain is there. But when their, their reticular activating system is tasked to help them in a really powerful way with positive prime, the things just seem to fall into place and, and, and happen. If they've done even one training session, they have some idea what they should be doing. And positive prime helps them actually get to action and, and do it. <laughs> Amazing. You should, you should just be our, our head of marketing. <laughs> so many brilliant quotes and we're so thrilled to hear these stories and how uh, it's being actioned in the real world and, and to such an extent. And one thing I'd love to inquire with you on is, and Kim touched on it at the start, is someone who's being told, you know, you, you might not walk again. And then you've just, you blew past it and said, well, actually, I'm going to get a black belt in karate. Like, that that's not an, a normal or natural thought process for someone. So I'd love to know how you instill and, and you've obviously instilled this into your children as well. Like that's, it's, it, like you said, that ripple effect is just going to continue to grow into your team and, and beyond and into their families, you know, that's, that's the power. So how do you, how do you, how does that happen? Is it share some uh, magic? I think, I, <laughs> I think I've got a very stubborn streak, Benny. Uh, if, and I, I possibly that could be how I've made it to such a business success as well. If somebody tells me, oh, you'll never achieve that, it's like, right. I start priming my brain for, okay, how can I achieve that? And I reject the never and I push back and I have this big streak of, let me show you, I can make this happen. I can do this. I can make this work. And I think um, it probably goes back a, a long way in my history to always wanting to prove myself, to prove that I can do this. And if anybody says you can't, it's like, hmm, yes, I can. And I'll show you. My, I actually have a quote on my, I have my vision board right next to me. And the, the guiding quote that I have on there that I change each year, but at the moment it's, I can and I will watch me. And I think if people could find some kind of quote that makes them feel maybe a little bit inspired to to prove people wrong or to to show themselves what is possible and i've probably got a little bit of an irreverent streak in me as well i'm not always a rule follower and i i like to shift paradigms and and make people think and i'm usually leading the way in something or other and it just has become part of, of who I am and it's obviously doing me quite well. So <laughs> I'm going to keep going with that. But the more that I can help other people to not be locked into other people's version of what might be a limitation for their lives, too many people 
hear a diagnosis or or are told they're not good enough. And sometimes, unfortunately, that's by people they're very close to. And if a part of my mission, and I, I guess I have access to a lot of a lot of females primarily in my business, and um, seeing them grow and evolve and change over the years, I've seen women get the confidence after you know growing through their business to leave violent relationships and make a huge difference in their lives. And that gives me so much more joy than even anything else in my business. Knowing that through coming into such a joyful collective that I've built up, that they're feeling supported to do other things and improve their lives in so many ways. And we have incredible retention rate in my business. And I think it's because we found a way to make everybody feel valued yes we shine a light on achievement but everybody is welcome and everybody is valued and we celebrate people who achieve things that are not necessarily business related we have one amazing lady who's been positive priming um, for leadership she wanted to get the confidence for leadership but she discovered in the process all these other sessions and she'd spent six weeks doing the fabulously fit session and she's a lady that hadn't been very active her whole life she started walking and then she started jogging and now she's just signed up for a mini marathon and to me that is a huge huge win and I'm so excited it's got nothing to do with business even though that's where the the inroad was for her for positive prime it's going to have so many more flow-on effects and I've always been so big on building confidence because I find if somebody is confident in one area of their life it flows into others you feel like um, in a new environment that you can find a way to make it work you mightn't be any good at it yet um, and even if I look at my journey in karate when I started I'm very lucky I found an amazing supportive dojo and I have to give credit where it's due because they were so patient it took me so much longer to learn things at the start because my brain wasn't wired well anymore. It had to develop a whole lot of new neurons and neural pathways to be able to function again. And you should see my brain scans. The You can actually, because they've had to be monitoring my brain, the growth and development is phenomenal. And I can't wait to the next one because then I should be able to see what change there's been since positive priming. Now that will be interesting. I bet it's going to be mind blowing. <laughs> and um, the, but uh, yeah, I was really slow and it took me, took my son six minutes to learn something. It would take me six weeks, not kidding. It would take me so much longer. But I was patient and they were patient and persistence. And now I'm, you know, blowing my own mind with what I've been able to achieve. But I think that's where I feel like Positive Prime integrates all the parts of my life and all the aspects that I have to share with the world and um, being able to, to share that with Positive Prime, whether they you know, come into it for a fitness perspective or a business per perspective, it crosses over or, and, and it comes back to confidence. And I feel like positive prime from my perspective is that ticket to feeling good. And when you're feeling good, you've got that foundation to achieve so much more. And um, it, it really is something that I think everybody should have in their lives no matter what they want to work on if they want to improve their lives in some way then this is it you know what i love about that christine is that even those of us who others may perceive we've got a lot that we've already achieved they might think we don't need it but in fact we already recognize that we need it even more consistently, persistently, and we're more tenacious and we're more patient and we're more, um, I think we're more compelled to understand exactly how and why it works. You know, you mentioned something really early on that um, when you explain a little bit of the science. So 
I think um, there's a disclaimer here. We're not paying Christine to say this, okay? So Christine is one of our beautiful members of our global family who we love, and she has an extraordinary story. From my perspective, um, I feel like not only are you a very powerful and influential businesswoman and you're helping others to create impact that's really meaningful in the world, there's not only this aspect, there's this absolute of overcoming a very serious health crisis. And beyond and above and integrated in all of that is the mother in you and the warrior on the health and wellness front, right? What I'm fascinated as I observe people like you who come into our world is that you took the time, you made the effort to actually dig deep into the science. You were curious and I have noticed that inquisitive people who get it, they never need to convince themselves or find the time or put a post note to say, hey, I need to remember to watch Positive Prime. They just know that they would not operate on any day without it. What for you, when you're sharing, what's the little bit of the science that was so incredibly captivating and that you're like me like super passionate about everyone else knowing yeah 100 as soon as I came in I literally did one session I felt the difference I could feel a shift in how I felt and I thought holy cow this is amazing I have to know everything about it and I watched everything everything hours that that I could access that about the science behind it and I have always been a believer in um, vision boards and and using those and I still have one um, up beside me as well but I immediately realized that this is like a thousand times more powerful than that vision board and um, the science that really grabbed me was the fact that I know I use a vision board to task the nerve bundle um, in my brain known as the reticular activating system to help me filter the information that I want to focus on. Um, what is it? Something like 4 billion pieces of information that um, we are exposed to um, and our mind can only filter about 2,000 pieces of that information. And I want to tell my brain, which pieces of that information I want it filtering. And at the moment when we're exposed to so much negativity um, in the media, so much fear mongering, if we can reprogram our brains to be filtering for positive things, then that is going to have so much um, improvement in our mental health. So I am very conscious of that. So I love the fact that we can program our brains with this. And I love the fact that by speeding it up, we can get past that critical filter. And that's the thing with a vision board, as fabulous as it is, you still have that critical filter that always present going, oh, can I really achieve that? And I found in my personal experience that positive prime when I'm doing it on a really fast speed, helps me to get straight past that critical filter. It's just going straight into the subconscious or other than conscious mind. And I think that that's part of the power because we're avoiding that, is that issue that otherwise slows down our goal achievement. Um, so those are very powerful aspects of it. But I even love the way, the science behind the images that you choose in each session and I watched the, um, the amazing TED talk by the, the lady I've forgotten her name now who talks about um, the images of joy and what elicits in joy ah oh, so incredible and how I see now when you when I'm doing the the sessions like oh there's a joy image there's a joy image and all the color that you bring into it and the science behind the uplift that that has and how much research has gone into which images and, and the colour and even the shapes that are best for our brains and, and why that's the case is absolutely incredible. So 
having an appreciation for how much thought and positive psychology um, and research has gone into the creation of each session means that I can talk about it with absolute confidence that this is going to be a really powerful thing. And as soon as I felt it for myself, I thought, right, I have to know how to convince other people that this is important, that this is something they should be doing. And I feel that by giving them a little bit of the science, that this isn't just some random few things you're looking at. No, this is super powerful and turbocharging your brain. And I, so to me, the science is really very important. Yeah, wow. Um, that's a really nice opportunity for us to actually get to know you and even listening to what you've been saying because almost everything else that you suggest or you recommend to others that they um, introduce into their own lifestyles or maybe into their own home environments means that I would say that when Christine suggests something most of those people who follow you know that you've done sufficient and adequate due diligence and you're only ever talking from your own truth. And I've observed you share with a few leaders and then a few people further than that, not, you know, 20,000 or 50,000 people all at once. You're very careful and conscientious and your, your, your integrity is actually not in question. So Having said that, if you were to um, tell people about three or four or five things that they absolutely need to um, have as ingredients in their healthy lifestyle, what would that be? Oh, that's exciting. Um, health is a very big part of my life now, having been through what we've been through. But um, I... I personally I'm very conscious of what I eat and part of a healthy lifestyle is not so much what you add in but what you take out as well and um, we've removed vegetable oils um, there's a lot of science behind that too Ooh, that could keep you going for a long time but also highly processed and refined foods and um, highly refined sugars so taking all of those out of our lives has had a hugely positive benefit and we have put in some high quality supplements as well to optimize our nutrition and as um, basically my whole family are um, at an elite level in sport now so we're very conscious of making sure that we have the right nutrition in our bodies to elevate our energy um, and in addition to what we're taking out and what we're putting in there are so many other little bits and pieces that i've pulled in um, to our lives we have an air purifier we have filtered water things like that what i figure okay my cells are made of what i put into my body and therefore i'm conscious of my nutrition but it's also what i breathe in is important and what i'm drinking in is also important and I was a little bit horrified when I saw what they put into tap water so I'm um, very conscious of what I'm drinking and even what I'm showering in as well I have a, a filtration um, unit on my shower head so I am quite possibly quite extreme in what I choose to do um, but even you know having some essential oils can um, can be making a positive difference as well. And I feel like um, all of these aspects are a, an important part. And I'm always looking for different things to improve my health, even um, conscious of what cleaning products I use in the home. We're very conscious we eat organic. So why on earth would I be spraying my bench tops with um, highly toxic chemicals? So we have, it, you know, organic and environmentally friendly um, cleaning products within the house as well. I'm just always thinking of new ways that I can improve our health. And with all of that 
coming together, then I feel like the the, the gifts that we give ourselves then is this this health and energy. I have so much energy. I am 44 and I am doing way more now than when I was 24. And I feel absolutely vibrant and excited. And I want to view aging as a series of opening doors, not slamming shut in my face as I'm walking down that, that corridor. And I am so excited having this, this health and, and vibrancy and grateful for it, having been what we've been through. And the more healthy lifestyle that I can get, the longer I'm going to keep this incredible feeling for. And, you know, I want to expand not just my lifespan, but my health span. The longer I can be vibrant and energetic and active and making a difference in people's lives, the better. Oh, yes. Um, let there be many more Christines and let Christine inspire many more of you who are listening and please do share this. What I think I take away is, yes, you can go through something truly dramatic in your early 40s. It was only three years ago that you had your strokes and aneurysms. It was a very rare condition. It was extremely difficult and complex to diagnose you went through radical treatment and and you are where you're at and it's been only three years so you and I have a little bit of that in common it's been less than 12 months since I had my pacemaker implanted and I too am a young vibrant amazing beautiful woman with so much to offer to the world and yet it isn't like I haven't actually physically dramatically died but I know because I spend time with people like you in this energetic exchange that I too can be Christine in three years time even more vibrant even more energetic even more effervescent <laughs> offering more being more serving more and, and look I want people to go and actually follow you there's actually there's something interesting also about your story not very many people understand what direct sales is and, and about leveraged income and financial freedom so could you just share like two seconds of what you observed when your daughter was going through her treatment and those those families facing um the reality of someone they love in chemotherapy because it wasn't like you rejected modern medical science you integrated everything as well as went on that medical journey but you you noticed like I do that often the extraneous issues are the most difficult yeah 100 percent um and we we did go through the chem, full chemotherapy journey with Sophie and it, it is honestly horrific watching children have to go through that. But um, the hardest part for me um, emotionally, other than watching my daughter in so much pain and going through so much, was meeting so many families at this time of crisis in their lives um, through the, the Children's Cancer Ward and seeing not only the emotional distress they were going through from having a critically ill child. They also had extreme financial distress and charities are amazing and they step up and they helped, but there's only so much a charity can do. And I saw families falling apart right when they needed to come together to support through um, a crisis. And that's where I was in an incredibly blessed position that despite being in hospital for months with Sophie, I was able to still run my business from her hospital bed. And I was still running a multi-million dollar business and had so much support from my team and the wider industry. It's a very um, tight-knit group and supportive community. When when one of our own is in distress, people step up. It's it's a, an industry led by um, pr primarily women, at least in my corner of the industry, that are wanting to make a difference for their families. And it touches their hearts when a family's in distress. And 
the ability to still have um, that income coming in was such an incredible blessing. I didn't have to worry about money at a time when most other people were in absolute crisis financially. And that's actually when I decided to start writing my blog, Direct Sales Inspiration, because I realized that the knowledge I'd built up by growing a multi-million dollar um, global empire is something I was quite possibly meant to share. And it also gave me a positive distraction rather than dwelling 100% of the time on cancer, which a lot of the parents did. It gave me a way to focus, be future focused, to feel like I was making a difference to people with the blessings that I had to share. And I share that openly with everybody globally in the industry that wants to listen. And it comes from a place of genuine knowing what works because I've done it, I've built it and I want to make a difference because if some of these families that I was witnessing falling apart, if a crisis happens to somebody, then that's where a business in the direct sales industry can become that vital security blanket. It doesn't have to be their whole career, but having that secure income stream that can step up if you ever need it to, I feel like that's something that more families need access to. And I felt like the more I can give people a foundation in case of crisis, then I was passionate about making that difference for as many people as I possibly could. And the more that come into a, a, a joyful kind of collective like we've built, then the more people we can have that positive impact on. Yeah, wow. I love that. I love that term joyful collective. You've mentioned it a few times. It sounds like you're planting the seeds of joyful collectives all over the place. I'd love to know if someone's listening to this and they're thinking, well, I don't have a joyful collective and far from it. How, how would they go about, what would be their first step to, to starting to create something like that? Then they can be the seed of, of excitement and spreading the, the positivity and finding a community like like Positive Prime, using Positive Prime as that tool to seed themselves with that positivity, that joy, that inspiration. And they don't have to be a part of one to create one. They can be the difference. They can have a, a, a sphere of influence that grows and grows. And I say be the change if you haven't got it yourself. On that note, woohoo! Absolutely, 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 um, absolutely. Do you know on my LinkedIn profile, or even on my um, Skype profile, for years and years and years, I had you know, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Just be, you know, be, be. It do, it changes everything. Who you're being helps you to attract into your life the kinds of people that you want. To to hang out with um you know so uh, and if they're in the direct sales have... industry come and hang out with me <laughs> yeah perfect all righty so we will we will guide everybody there again tell us how do we how do we reach you www dot uh, direct sales inspiration.com or just find me on facebook i am addicted to that <laughs> <laughs> okay okay Benny, any final notes? Any wisdom? Oh, just just uh, one one last question that we like to um, ask all of our guests, and that's if someone isn't yet positive priming, what would be the one thing you would say to them to get them uh, interested? Uh, if they have anything in their lives that worries them, that frustrates them, or that they wish they could do or do better, then positive prime is the answer for any of those things. And you have seriously got nothing to lose and potentially huge advancements to gain. So invest in yourself, do it for yourself, just give it a go. 
and I've written down it's your ticket to feeling good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <It's> another one. <laughs> Another Christineism for Positive Prime. Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you, Kim, as well. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, like, like I said, this, is a, this session itself is a Positive Prime. We are <laughs> going to go away from this happier, frothier humans. And so, yeah, much gratitude for coming on and uh, really looking forward to more conversations and being a part of your journey in the future. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really genuinely passionate about this tool and so grateful for being a part of it. Oh, mwah, mwah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being vulnerable enough and brave enough and beautiful enough in your soul to share your story with all of the listeners and allow us to facilitate that. We deeply appreciate you. We are so excited for what is happening in your team, in your family, in your community. Um, and, and we can't wait to hear from you again. Surface. I can't wait till I get that, um, the, the session that I'm creating out to my team and then out to my blog. And uh, that excites me. But I've had those, like you said, I'm slow and steady, one step at a time. I'm, I'm rolling it out and I'm getting buy-in from key people and seeing the changes so that now I've got real people I can point to and um, real stories. And um, my, so it's not just all me. I've got a few people who are passionate about it and now we can roll it out. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I say to people, you know, I can tell you how phenomenal Positive Prime is, but I, you know, I, I drink the Kool-Aid and everyone goes, yeah, Kim, you also created it, right? Like the inventor cannot be the person that sprouts it. And I was like, I need other people to talk about it because of course I'm going to say it's amazing. Well, I mean, we'd expect I'd say it's amazing, but it really is amazing. It really is. And I was blessed with the download. I mean, I, I was just super lucky, really fortunate that God made me or the universe or the angels or the, you know, the land that I grew up in in Papua New Guinea, me anchored into the vibration of what is Mother Earth here in Australia. I don't know what it is. It's the combination of it all. But thank goodness, I'm tenacious enough to bring something like this to life and then patient enough for it to start to catch fire, we're igniting people, you know, a few people, and then it's mushrooming, and, and sure, now it's going viral. Um, I imagined it always going to be, but I didn't know that it would be so beautiful mm -hmm. as an experience to live. I am just so grateful that I jumped in 100% and got involved as, as a higher level as I possibly could because I feel now a part in changing so many more lives for the better. So I'm glad that I went with my intuition and thought, yep, yeah, I feel so aligned to this that it's just meant to be. Mm. Thank, Thank you, you for your time, guys.